Well, hello, bear watchers. It's the blanket room. <laughs> they they were all folded on the couch yesterday. <laughs> Ray, come over here. There she is. <laughs> Yeah, there's no pollen today. I just checked the pollen count and because it's been raining. There's no pollen, but the molds are up, but but they're very low. So I think the the rain has washed everything away. The rain is our savior, you know, and hopefully it put out the fires too. <laughs> but guess what? Because it's nasty weather all week, I'm gonna edit the rest of this New Orleans vlog. <laughs> so. So that's what this is going to be. <laughs> she has the screen paused on the three of us looking at the camera. And Heather's face looks like... Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's, like, not happy. <laughs> I don't know what she... Yeah, I don't know. She, she probably... It's probably the sun glare, but she looks like she's just angry. <laughs> Here, I wonder if you can see her if I turn around because this face in her face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. <laughs> That's not such a mean face. But, but this, I wanted to get this one up, and I really wanted to make sure that I did a good video out of it because, because um, the that last day we did a lot of stuff. We went on um, we went on a, a cemetery tour. Stop it, <laughs> oh, Mary. Mary died. <laughs> we we went on a cemetery tour and a tour of the town and then then what did we do mary can you uh, see these clips i can't see them yeah, yeah. that's the cemetery i'm i'm scrolling through the clips and um oh oh the the, the, the apothecary museum is that no the no that's the um the beer place oh, the, that was part of the city tour we went to the um what do they call those refineries? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, just dis no. Distillery. It, well, it wasn't a distillery, was it? Did they have? Yeah. Something. Like yeah, that. because they had gin and vodka and whiskey or something. I don't and know. Rum. Yeah. All I was things. thinking beer, but it wasn't. Yeah, because we actually got a mixed drink, like a rum something it or another. It was like the hurricanes that they tell everyone to get when they're in New Orleans. It's, oh, it's like yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. rum drink. It was like that, but um, their own twist on it, maybe. Yeah, so then we took a tour of the Garden District. You're trying to kill her! <laughs> she just ran into the table! <laughs> uh, oh, so this is really getting to be uh, the strangest intro ever. <laughs> it's been my whole weekend. What's this food? That looks really good. We don't even know what we did. <laughs> that was a, it looks like a bakery. Oh, we went and after we had the rum, we were hungry. We got off oh, of this. We went into the mall. We went into the and mall. we had Italian calzones and stuff. And that's where the weird birds were and then we walked back to town and um, Heather was done with the walking she didn't want to walk anymore so yeah. so she stayed at the hotel and we actually went to a, a speakeasy yeah yeah it was and um, we went to a couple parks we were secretly invited by the vampire cafe yeah <laughs> so it was a vampire society speakeasy yeah. you've gotta you've gotta have a code and then they have to let you into mm -hmm. a secret door yeah and uh, I flipped out because they were <laughs> they scanning scan your, your ID. ID but I told her I was like 
clubs and bars actually typically do this to make sure that you are uh-huh. of age and they are not illegally letting you enter the premises. Right, yeah. They're, yeah, it's supposed to detect fake IDs. And it, it yeah. kind of keeps track of who's going in mm-hmm. and out. Yeah, so it doesn't keep any information on your... No. your no. license but it just, because it was such a strange <laughs> spooky place i was like yeah. what do you want my id for she you know wasn't paying attention but you could see his screen or at least i could and when and you it just, scanned it it would just give you like a green check mark yeah so so then he'd be like cool you're you know legal <laughs> go through oh gosh <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so that was fun and it was right down on uh, bourbon street Mm-hmm. So yeah, and we so didn't even know it was on Bourbon Street because of the way you went in, yeah. and then and when it got dark, we got to see all of the festivities. Yeah, because it had this private balcony out there, so so yeah, so you'll see all this stuff, and the intro's getting really long, oh, yes, <laughs> and this is kind of going to be a long video, so <laughs> I mean, hopefully it was entertaining. Yeah, <laughs> and I don't know if you'll see us at the end because I don't know how it'll end. But, well, this is it. This is the last of the New Orleans video. And then we're going to do um, a cruise haul. If we can find all of the stuff that we, that we got. You're just trying to eat me. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I don't think we've said hello this whole trip. <laughs> we're, we're like just running here and there and <laughs> just fast, fast, fast. Yeah. It's been a whirlwind vacation. Yeah. So we're waiting for the city bus tour right now. Cajun connections. Cajun encounters. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so they said 11:15 somewhere between 11:15 and 11:45 because they got to pick up other people. Uh. Well, we'll see what time they get here. It's 11.30 now. Yeah. This should be fun.
So it's, it's never you see it, but watch the side up. When you look down, and look how deep that house goes back that way. Wow. Yeah, and the Ashton family that owned that home, those were also Creoles who were plantation owners. This home over here was visited by the great French Impressionist artist, Edgar Degas. His mother and grandmother were both French Creoles. Uh, little neighborhood. It's not very big, though. It's like only four blocks wide by six to eight blocks long at the most. But some very unique styles of, uh, of housing in the area. Many up with the terracotta rooftops and so forth. Now, the second house to the right coming up here is another one of our Creole mansions with the American flags flying out front. They call us a raised Victorian. It was built here in 1873. The main floor is above the stairs, but you notice down below the stairs looks like livable space. Well, it is today, but back in the day when they built in these uh, center hall gallery-style homes, many of them had above-ground basements. We can't put basements below ground because of the high water table. Now, if you look down the block to the right, you see the terracotta rooftop and the fairgrounds racetrack clubhouse. That's where a thoroughbred horse racing takes place. That track is the third oldest continuously working thoroughbred track in the country. Been operating there since, uh, since 1872. Race season begins on Thanksgiving Day, November. And they're post cemetery tour. Hello Street Ben is out here today. Uh, Jamal uh, has got his uh, stuff set up with all kinds of stuff to drink and snacks to eat. His cousin uh, does some handmade uh, beaded jewelry. It's really... built with this concept that have at least that many people buried inside, if not more. Now, of course, everybody always wants to know how in the heck can he get this many bodies in something this size, especially if you know anything about Catholic religion. They didn't allow cremation until the 1960s, so how did they really do this? Well, the concept they use in these old cemeteries still to this day is known as self-cremation. So how does that work? Well, up down here, I'll explain it to y'all. This was missing a wall plaque. It's over here to identify. So he went on to explain the process that happens with these, um, you know, these vaults. They put the person in there and a year and a day later, uh, it has been self-cremated. So you cannot bury another family member within that year and a day. So they do have other vaults. So, but that was pretty interesting. Magnolia trees look like they're getting ready to bloom. This is how we do it in four They got big buds on them. In New Orleans, we call the Set up and donate this land to y'all, but only in one condition. It'll always be a fun place for the kids and the families to come to. So it's been known as City Park ever since. The big trees you see out here is the live oak tree. It's the most indigenous trees in southern Louisiana. They're called live oaks because their leaves are green all year round. Now, many of these trees in this park are well over two, three, maybe five, six hundred years old, many of them are. Wow. All the long gray stuff hanging from the trees, the Spanish moss, which got its name from the native Indians, reminding them of the Spanish conquistadors having long gray beards. Mm -hmm. Then we went to the 7-3 Distilling Company and that had a lot of history in there. Some people bought alcohol. Uh, some people just bought drinks. Uh, Mary and I tried a hurricane and it was very yummy. And um, yeah, it was pretty interesting. Uh, apparently it's a new stop on the tour and I think it was a very nice stop for all of us. It was a great potty stop. <laughs>
Yeah, my brother will love to drink beer. He drinks beer every single day of his life as long as I've known him. But let me tell you, when it comes to Ash Wednesday, the guys are about now, this is the great district that we're in right now. This beautiful neighborhood is a lovely neighborhood. It's, you know, built by the wealthy Americans on the windows in the bottom floor. Look at the, uh, the just the balance at the top. So you can look at that house 24-7. Look at the silver in the dining area right there. Oh, wow. So, yeah, it's a, it's a traditional thing that's been going on in this neighborhood back right there. This is the oldest American cemetery in New Orleans, the Lafayette Cemetery, built here in 1832. So same concept as St. Louis III that we went to earlier with the above ground reusable tombs. You can see over the wall and through the gates right there how much older these look. It's also a public cemetery. Anybody can be buried there, including Catholics. Movies like Double Jeopardy, Interview the Vampire, Deja Vu were filmed here. Movie TV series like uh, the originals, American Horror Stories. You can't make them an old man, Jeep. Now, down a block on 4th and Coliseum in the corner to the right down there, where you see that silver vehicle that Jeep, that's where Sandra Bullock's house is. Former home of Nicholas Cage. He owned his house for over 14 years. He ended up dumping on 1st Street in the middle of the block to the right here is uh, where our football stars grew up at to the right. It's got the above ground basement. It's got the veranda surrounding three sides of the home on both the first and second floor. Yeah, 14, the like 14 floating columns on both floors, 28 all total, supporting as it reminds them of the color of the sky, and that is why they stay away from it. You can't find that anywhere, that's right. But one of my favorite places, look at the views. Look at this little plate, look at the storefront right there. You can't find that anywhere. I mean, you, you just don't see that kind of stuff. That's really cool, you want to stand up? So we could be dropped off anywhere along the route as long as it was a safe drop off point. So we had him drop us off at the mall, the um, I think it was the Riverwalk Mall is what it was called, and we had lunch there. Italian. So, mm. This cucumber salad is delicious. But it sounds like a New, New Orleans is like a mix of oh, yeah. African, Italian, Oh, you got three. Yeah. And then she got pasta. Yum. They brought friends. We're not feeding them. We aren't. Look at how beautiful their feathers look. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at this guy. He's trying to steal something from me. He is literally a foot away from my hand. He's like, you're telling on me. It's a Mardi Gras store. <laughs> it's got everything Mardi Gras in there. All kinds of, oh my gosh, crazy things. <laughs> There's even a Christmas tree in there with the Mardi Gras stuff on it. Should we go look at the mask? Uh, I don't think so. I think someone's wearing like a silver dress like that when they took pictures of the like... All the shiny things. So this mall kind of goes on forever. <laughs> we thought there was only two floors, there's three. <laughs> Interesting. There's a Cafe de Monde in here. Giant backpacks. <sighs> Big place. And another level. <laughs> it is a very big mall. Ah, <laughs> huh. a Spanish plaza. You're welcome. 
<laughs> I know how to get places. <laughs> oh boy. I bet this looks pretty at night. Woo! We're getting wet. <laughs> because <laughs> it's windy. ships are having a hard time making this turn. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. You can tell it's a weekend because <laughs> it's a lot more packed than yesterday. <laughs> So we came here for gator bites, and they didn't have any, so we got uh, shrimp and grits. And while we were waiting, we got a lemon sugar crepe from next door. <laughs> and they had lemonade you can add flavors to. So there's peach lemonade, and Heather got a blackberry lemonade, and they had iced coffee. So it has like a coconut flavor to it. It's really good. That looks like it could be fun. <laughs> I don't know. Mary hurt her ankle, so. No uh, ankle movements. Yeah. Looks bizarre. Back scratchers. <laughs> come over here at night is a good thing we didn't. We would have missed it. Looks like they're gonna have some kind of a big market here tomorrow. Today's Friday so I'm sure it's gonna be like a, a weekend thing. This is look like glass. It's very pretty. Looks like all the street performers are packing things up. It's got these beautiful lagoons in here. himself. I can hear all the brass. I do feel like they have little plates out there sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. Mahala Jack. 
So, there she is. <laughs> I think it's Mahalia. No, it's yeah. Mahala. It's got an eye. Oh, uh -huh. it's got an eye or an eye? Don't ask the English major. <laughs> oh, gotta love the sound of running water. And it feels cooler just standing next to it. This is beautiful. It just goes all the way around all these big, huge buildings. There's a couple of bridges. Nice. We found another bridge. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, look at that. It is. It's pretty out here. <laughs> oh my gosh, hello. <laughs> it is so loud in our hotel. There must be some kind of a party or something going on. Well, it's a party town. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere we go, there's some kind of something going it on. Possibly a wedding party. I've seen one lady in like a really nice white outfit. And something else we noticed today is that the police, there are actually a lot of police in town and they run around without their sirens. They've got lights, no sirens. So you don't hear any sirens in town. Yeah, it's if, interesting. If somebody's not listening or watching, um, then they'll do like a whoop whoop, you know, just to... Yeah. get by them on these busy streets. It's pretty crazy. I, you know, big city sound travels and you know how sirens sound in the cities. Yeah. You don't hear them here. It's crazy. Um, we are going to a speakeasy. Remember we went to Vampire Cafe? They actually have a speakeasy. It's like underneath another bar, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a hidden, it's a hidden um, bar. Called Potions. Called Potions. <laughs> potions. And we've got the secret password. <laughs> and we've got the secret password. So Mary and I are going to go. Um, we had to, too much walking <laughs> for Heather today. Yeah. So she's soaking her feet. <laughs> I know my ankle's been yeah. pretty bad. Um, I did something to it. I have no idea what. Yeah. She's, but I put, she's had a puffy ankle yeah. since the last day of the cruise. I, I put a lot of pain cream on it today yeah. and I seem to be doing all right. Yeah. And I've been spraying that. Um, Lidocaine or? Well, the. Um, solar oh, the solar cane. I've been spraying the solar cane on my legs and I was wondering why my legs are getting redder. Yeah. <laughs> and I forgot I have an allergy lidocaine. to lidocaine. Solar cane, lidocaine. <laughs> I wasn't yeah. even thinking. I wasn't thinking. So, thankfully, um, I put some zinc on top of my legs before I sprayed the solar cane on there. So, yeah. it probably blocked a lot of it from getting in. So, <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go back to Walgreens and see if I can get something else to put on my sunburn. Oh. All right, we'll see you at the speakeasy. Yay. As much as we've been trying to stay off of Bourbon Street, we're still on it. <laughs> we keep having to go back on it because that's where everything's at. <laughs>
Why is it so small? <laughs> it's gotta be a shot. It's a good thing we got something to chase it with. <laughs> of a secret society. We got the secret vampire society. <laughs> yeah. So we're waiting to have tea leaves read. We wanted to do some kind of a reading since we were here. She was pretty accurate with both me and Mary, and we actually fell in love with her. She was so cute. We were pretty grateful for our readings. So we were told that there was no seating left for the night at the Redfish Grill that was attached to the Hyatt, but uh, we were also told that if you could go in, they do have seating outside of the reservations, so we got in. Try to eat again. <laughs> 
made a video. She got strawberry shortcake with a homemade biscuit. And I'm like gonna die. <laughs> Because I got the pecan pie. I had to do it. I'm in the south. And Heather got a creme brulee. But not any creme brulee. It's a passion fruit creme brulee. A passion so, fruit. So the cream itself is a passion fruit. Uh, it looks delicious. And it's all gone. <laughs> Check this out. Another secret entrance. Oh, it is locked. Can you get in there? <laughs> The last day of our trip, and Girlies wanted to go swimming. The pool opens at seven o'clock, I think, and it's eight thirty. <laughs> the staff is out there, busy, busy, busy working. There are a lot of people out there. It's supposed to be almost 90 degrees today. It's our last day. <laughs> I doubt these pools are heated. <laughs> I'm sure it's warmer on the shallow end. Funny girls. It's 75 degrees out there right now, so it's <laughs> it's not really warm. I gotta get ready. I gotta pack. Ugh. Took a long time to change. Oh, look, there's bubbles over there. Courtyard dining. Okay, we didn't realize this was a buffet, so we got grits and sweet potatoes and crawfish and shrimp and, and shrimp pasta and eggs benedict. I've never had crawfish before, but I grabbed a couple. Yeah. Heather got an omelet. They make omelets made to order. Yeah, so mine is a mushroom ham, green onion, and cheese omelet. Nice. These buildings amaze us. When you look at the front of these buildings, they look like nothing. <laughs> it looks like you're gonna walk into a little tiny bar and then there's this. <laughs> and there's a huge hallway and kitchen back there. Another upstairs. It's crazy. Crazy, isn't it? These charm gates were wrought in Spain, especially for the Court of Two Sisters, according to the legend. Queen Isabella had them blessed and that their charm will pass on to anyone who touched them. Huh. 
See, this is all you see from the front. The door's right there. That's it. That's all you see from the front. And almost all of these buildings down here are like this. <laughs> You walk inside and they're like these enormous mansions. It's insane. <laughs> Everybody goes through the same gate. It's crazy. I heard it's fast. Yeah. <laughs> We, we came here like four and a half hours before our check-in time. So we could Or before our boarding time. Yeah. And, um, and I called Alaska Airlines because there's nobody at the desk here. And they said that they're supposed to be there four hours before. Well, now it's four hours, well, like three hours and 45 minutes before. And there's still nobody here to check in. And there's no tape or whatever it is to print boarding passes either. And it, there's quite a line over there. Yeah. Yeah. It's a form and there's more people going to get in line. <laughs> yeah. Because we're the one all the way at the yeah, end. Yeah, all the way at the end. Oh well. We'll see. See how long this takes. My back's starting to hurt from standing. I'm just falling asleep. <laughs> yeah. We need a Starbucks. <laughs> and the vacation's officially over. <laughs> but we're, we're glad to be going back home to the doggies. <laughs> Chillin', I just, you and I Every 